Hi, the objective for this presentation is to show you how to use the Java API for XML parsing to parse an XML document using DOM. For this purpose, we'll use the order.xml document, which has the order as the root element and with two child elements, namely the two items within this order. Our code, which will parse this XML document, will use the document builder factory, which is the DOM parser factory to create an instance of the DOM parser. So we first create a DOM document builder factory which is a DOM parser factory and then we create our parser instance by invoking the new document builder method on this factory. So the DOM API uses the factory design pattern to create an instance of the DOM parser. Once we have the parser, we can invoke the parse method on the parser by giving it a handle to our order.xml file. At this point, when we invoke the parse method, the DOM parser loads the entire order.xml into memory and it will represent the whole order.xml as a DOM object which is nothing but an instance of the document interface in the DOM API. So this document instance here now has a in-memory hierarchical representation of our entire order XML. When we invoke the get element by tag name method and when we pass in the order element, we are telling the DOM parser that we want to get to the first element or the root element which is the order in this case. DOM parser will retrieve the entire order element and its contents and it will load it into a node list. As you can see, even though we have only one order element, the DOM parser always returns a node list not, and not just a single element. And everything in the DOM API is, a, is represented as a node. So it could be a element node, it could be a attribute node, it could be a comment node, etc. And in this case, since we know that order is of type element in XML, we can simply typecast it to the element type of DOM. And once we typecast it, we can retrieve the attributes on this element, on this order XML element by invoking the get attribute and passing in the attributes name. So we'll get the value of the ID attribute on this order when we do that, which in our case is one, two, three. Now to hierarchically access the items within this order, the child elements of our order element, we invoke the get element by tag name again. And this time, since we have two items, we get a node list with these two items represented in the object notation form. We loop through these two items and we then get to the child elements of each of these items by invoking the get element by tag name again. The DOM parser methods through the following checked exceptions, the parser configuration exception, etc., which have to be handled by our code or we should at least declare them on our methods using the throws class. To recap, from this presentation, you have learned how easy it is to create and use a DOM parser using the JAXP API to parse your XML document. To do that, we have created an instance of the DOM factory first, and we have created a parser from this DOM factory, a DOM parser. And when we invoke the parse method, this DOM parser will load the entire XML document into memory and it gives us a object representation of it. And from that point, we can hierarchically access our elements within the XML document by invoking the get element by tag name or several other methods which are provided in the DOM API. When I run this program, you will see that it displays the contents of our order XML. Our DOM parser went through the entire XML document and the first thing it prints is the order ID. This we get it from the attribute here. And then it displays the contents of the items with the item name, quantity and price for each of the items. As an assignment, I want you to download this project 
try adding more elements to this XML document and try doing a DOM, uh, try enhancing our code to do DOM parsing for it. And also I have posted a posted some links to the various classes in the DOM API on the blog post. I want you to go through it, go through this and if you have any questions you can always email me at baratsblog at gmail.com. In the next presentation you will learn how to parse the XML document using a SACS API. Until then keep sharing and learning. Thanks for watching.